Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Snow flying today and a lot of this going on. You can see the shoveling and the heavy snow, moderate snow basically coming down through most of the valley. More than three inches of snow falling in downtown Boise today and many places seeing four to seven inches of snow. I've got my boots on right now. I can get outside. It just came in from outside doing a Facebook Live a little while ago and the snow is everywhere. Don't have to tell you all about it. And there's more to come in the Treasure Valley. There'll be more shoveling going on tomorrow morning when you wake up. Snow will be coming down again. It could go all the way through at least the middle part of the day tomorrow another two to five inches of snow could fall over these locations. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. This is a view of the connector traffic coming out of town uh, still running very slowly of course as more snow showers continue to keep the roads slick out there and that's going to be the case throughout the evening hours. If you've got plans hopefully you don't need to travel but if you do 24 degrees again snow showers and some heavier snow showers likely coming in overnight tonight and this is going on live on Facebook has been throughout the afternoon. This is a live view of my computer here and it shows that if you go to the KV, KIVI section your side page here, this is a, just all kinds of radar images and different views, some time lapse views of the ski resorts, uh, the storm system coming in, and the forecast of what's going to be going on. So if you want to go to our Facebook page, you can monitor that throughout the evening hours tonight. Let's take a look at the advisories and warnings right now. Winter weather advisory in effect until tomorrow at 11 a.m. Now, I mentioned last night this should probably continue all the way to the middle part of the day tomorrow, and the winter weather advisory has now been continued another two to five inches of snow in the Treasure Valley. That's valley snow totals of five to ten inches of snow out of this one two punch here. Winter storm warnings for the east central mountains will be horrible travel conditions for tomorrow into Sunday morning for eastern Idaho as well. Here's the very latest Doppler radar and you can see that another little wave of snow pushing on in right now and not as heavy as it was earlier but again this is continuing to coat the roadways. Mountain home temperatures near freezing but we've got snow flying. Snow in Homedale in western Canyon County now and a burst of heavier snow in southern Ada County continues to track to the north. There's no radar coverage here. There are still snow showers coming in and a lot more moisture to the southwest just streaming in our direction. We'll get another punch overnight tonight. Here's the very latest future cast showing maybe a break as we go towards uh, 8 or 30 tonight. But then overnight tonight, watch the snow begin to re envelop the entire region. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. There could be that snow coming down to beat the band tomorrow. And watch as we push to the middle part of the day. You still see snow showers lingering. It doesn't seem like much, but I have a feeling it's going to be hard to turn the snow off. And even into the afternoon, notice how the snow is trying to linger even into the Boise area. This could be a very prolonged event with snow, and there'll be a deep, blanket of snow on the ground in the Treasure Valley by tomorrow afternoon when things finally wind down. Heading to Christmas Day, we should get partly cloudy skies, get some sunshine and some cold temperatures out there. As far as the snowfall, this is what I'm expecting. Another two to five inches for Ada County, three to five inches Mountain Home, two to four in Canyon County, possibly two to five for the Ontario area from this point through midday tomorrow. Again, a lot of snow coming in for the mountains. Another three to five in McCall, six to ten Stanley to Sun Valley, and four to six inches in the Magic Valley, especially north of the State. Here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. And that's right, more snow tonight through the middle part of the day tomorrow with two to five inches of snow possible. Temperatures could get to near freezing. I think after the snow stops, they may pop up just a little bit, but there'll be that deep snow and we'll have temperatures in the upper 20s in the morning. Three to five inches of snow likely in the Boise Mountains, as you see into the West Central Mountains, 27 degrees in McCall. That three to five inches of snow blanketing that region and the higher elevations getting more snow. My ski report coming up. Boy, 6 to 10 inches of snow likely in those higher elevations and 6 to 10 inches in the east central mountains likely uh, between tonight and tomorrow as well. The Magic Valley, watch out for that 2 to 5 inches of snow with high temperatures only in the 20s. Here's my underside extended forecast. As we take a look at the day coming up tomorrow, there's your snow. And I've got morning snow in here. That's when most of the snow will fall about 7, 30, 8, 30, 9 in the morning. But you see there's still chances at noon, 50% chance, and even a 50% chance at 4 o'clock in the afternoon of snow showers lingering, finally dry and cold on Christmas Day, frigid on Monday. Here comes another system on Tuesday that we're going to have to watch for some more snow and then cold, dry conditions on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday as well as we continue to see the onslaught of moisture from what is known as La Nina. Can't believe it's just December. We had a lot of snow out there. Uh, you're saying another two to five inches starting overnight tonight. Basically from this point through, through overnight tonight and tomorrow. So that's that incredible. Five to ten inches in the valley. I haven't even checked. Is it good packing snow? Because everybody's going to want to make snowmen tomorrow. It's not really like snowmen yet, but it may be tomorrow afternoon. Let's hope so. There's a lot of it, that's for sure. That's a Saturday morning treat yes. is what that is. Coming up next on 6 on your side, the 